Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Brad Tragic video. And today I'm gonna to talk, I'm gonna rant a little bit. I may curse a little bit. I'm a bit angry. That's all I'm gonna say. So today I wanna to talk about Wish. <laughs> so if you don't know what Wish is, Wish is a place where you can get a lot of stuff for like really, really cheap. Some of them are knockoffs and that's why they're cheap and some of some of the products are very poor they break easily I've got a lot of cords and things like that that's the best thing I think to get on wish is like uh, USB cables and stuff like that you can get them really really cheap on there and you can get some really cool ones on there uh, that you necessarily can't find in your local stores and yes it is cold in Indiana it is it says 30 degrees I don't know it feels like 18 to me but And my teeth are extremely loose right now. Sorry about that. Anyways, but so what happened, let me tell you what happened, because this is what made me super, 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 super mad, okay? Three days had passed. I want to say three days. Three to four. And I was excited. May have been only a couple days. But anyway, still, still, there shouldn't have been a couple days past. Um, but I was able to get stuff like really cheap, like literally 50 cents that are normally like $200, $300. Yeah. Yeah. One was like almost a hundred, I think. And I got for 50 cents and one was 200. One of them was a, they call it, they, they were calling it a notebook. So it was kind of like probably like a cheaper version of a laptop. And I'm like, hey, that'd be interesting. Maybe that would work better than my dumb laptop I got now. So I was excited to get that for like 86 cents. That's total with shipping and everything. And then um, there was another thing that I got. It was a light fixture thing it was it came on a stand it, it was on a stand it who knows it may not even came with the stand now that i think about it but it was a light thing that went on to onto a uh, thing and you could hook your phone up to it so then when you did videos that's where i was hoping to go with it um it would go in between there so what happened tonight is i got to work everything's going grand when I went to, I think it was lunch that it happened, or it might have been first break. I think it might have been first break. So first break, at work, I was I was watching YouTube, and I get a notification on my phone. I checked to see what it was. It was Wish. And it said something about, unfortunately, your purchase didn't go all the way through. What? So, I don't understand this. So, Wish needs to get its crap together. If you want us to pay more for the shipping, then you need to tell us. Don't don't sit there and lie and try and skip. I, I seriously think Wish, like, thinks people are not going to pay attention to shipping charges and things like that. And they think we're just going to order it. And that may be their ploy, is that we're going to look for it again, and we're going to be, and it's going to be super cheap, and then it's going to be like twenty some dollars shipping, and people are going to be like, I ain't paying for that. But they're hoping that you don't notice the shipping charges, and then they're going to hook, line, and sinker you into buying that item, and then you're going to have to, you know, fight, you know, who to get the money back. Um, but yeah, both of the items. See, that's what. The, if it would have been like just one of the items, I would have been okay, fine, whatever, let it go. But no, this is like both of the flipping items. That's kind of fishy. Kind of fishy, kind of odd. Doesn't make sense, Wish. Get your crap together or kick these merchants, whoever this was that had this stuff, kick them off your website because this is ridiculous that you say I could buy something and I buy it and then literally you tell me I can't buy it because my purchase didn't go through in time. Like, I'm sorry, you're supposed to be like all this tech savvy company 
that sells all this tech products and things like that, but yet you can't get your website to work right, and you have to tell me two days later. Like, that's a thing. Like, if it would have been the same day, I would not be making this video. I would not be making this video. I would not be complaining because it was the same day. You tell you you let me think I was getting these products three days after the fact. You tell me that unfortunately we're gonna have to refund you. And then they tell me I'm not gonna get my money back for 14 business days. That's a bit ridiculous. Like, are you crapping me? So I don't understand what they're doing, but they need to stop doing that. If they're not going to be able to sell those products that they're selling, like, extremely cheap, like that, like a $200 item to, like, a dollar item, down to a dollar item, taking it down to a dollar item, and if they're not going to be able to sell you that for that, then they need to stop doing it because it makes people mad, and that's the kind of things that causes things to happen. <laughs> Just saying. You want things to happen, people to lash out or in lawsuits and stuff like that, that's what's gonna happen. I mean, just think about if somebody was trying, let's think about this. It's July, it's December 15th, and somebody saw that and they didn't go to Black Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say it's around Black Friday, and they didn't go to Black Friday because they already thought they had a kind of a knockoff version of a laptop. They were going to get like the extremely crappy thing at Walmart and, and instead they said well we got one coming on Wish. And then December 29th they tell you that unfortunately your purchase couldn't go through. What the hell does that even mean? My money went through. You said it was available at the time it popped up. Like, what's going on, dude? I honestly think that th that company should have had to have to fulfill that. Or at least give you, like, a very, very dramatic discount. Like, or at least, if they say you still want it, you know, we're going to charge you $5 more or something like that. I'd be fine with that. I would, I would pay $5 for a notebook, you know? Damn. But... To have something up for sale and then dramatically reduce it and then turn around and say, well, you didn't pay for it in time. Like, what? What are you doing? Like, this is the thing. There's a love-hate relationship with Wish.com <laughs> and me because for every good purchase that I get, like some super awesome cord or a super awesome, you know, thing that I got off of there, I have a crappy experience. Almost every single time I have a crappy experience. And what happened lately? I got two chargers, the magnetic cord and a super long fast charger for my wife. Those are amazing, great experiences. And then I get, let me guess, I had two successful things, right? So of course I had to have two bad experiences coming up, right? It happened. Oh, you didn't get this in time, so you can't have these. <sighs> And you know, I'm probably gonna test it out again. I'm probably gonna test it out again, and I'm gonna look and see. And if I get it done twice to me, then I'm definitely gonna make a video bashing Wish very, very, very badly. And I hope to God I get a reaction from them because this is not acceptable. If, if you're getting people gifts off of here and then they're doing that to you around Christmas time, I don't want to even try and get anybody a present off a of wish around Christmas time. Because I can only imagine, like, it's not even going to happen. Oh, I got you a Christmas gift, but it's not going to be here for three months. What the hell? Like, that's the biggest thing about wish, is that they got to get their suppliers up and going better or something. Like... All they have to do is have a warehouse in the United States. Just one. That's all you need. One in the flipping warehouse. One in the U.S. That's all you got to get. <laughs> it's like, is that difficult? Like, I'm sure there's an abandoned warehouse somewhere in New York, Indiana, Michigan, California. I'm sure somewhere has an abandoned warehouse that's not being used that people don't like to have raves at. 
I'm sure you can put a warehouse in there, remodel it. You you would make a crap ton of money just for people getting their products on time, you know? And if you could just, you know, some of the people that want to like sell their products like dirt cheap in the US, oh my God. It's like so annoying that you, it, I, I just, I got so mad. It's just like, I was so excited to get those two products. The light was the most thing, because I don't know what that computer is gonna be. I had no idea what it was gonna be if they tricked me into buying a keyboard. I don't know what it was. It could have been a keyboard, for all I know. And now the thing about it, I don't even know if the light was actual, the full thing. It could have been just the top of it. I don't know. I don't know, but wish.com, you need to get your shit together. It's fucking ridiculous. You tell me I got something, you tell me I, I bought something, And then he turned around and say I did. So anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. Hope you guys catch me later and more videos to come. I did a video yesterday, but I really want to do this video. So I had to delete that one, so I'll have to redo that one. But uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. Catch you guys later. See ya. Keep rocking and keep on watching stuff and stay the fuck away from wish.com unless you're buying a cord because jesus one you ain't gonna get your product for three months and the other they can lie to you and three days after you buy it say oh well unfortunately you didn't pay for it in time what does that even mean anyways goodbye